Here's my old solar well pump controller, and I'm taking it apart because it got water inside and the circuit board fried. As you can see here, the water short-circuited a lot of the surface mount components. Even though it's in a weatherproof box, water was able to seep in through the LED holes here. Due to exposure to the sun, the thin film that covers the LED holes cracked and water was able to get in. I ordered a replacement from Aurora Power Systems and it came in today. As you can see here, the box has been redesigned and is much larger than the one I am replacing. The LEDs have been moved to a new position on the front of the box, and there is now an external toggle switch to switch between solar and battery, as well as more weatherproof wire access holes. Now let's crack this thing open. As you can see here, the internal circuit board has been redesigned also. Now let's go get this installed. Here's my battery box with a wasp inside. I'm going to go ahead and replace all the batteries back into the box for the summer. I need to remove the new solar panel connectors because I use wires coming from the batteries. Using a picture on my phone, I reconnect all the wires from the batteries, solar pump, and sensors. Once everything is connected, it's time to power it on and see if we have water. 